Hi everyone, my name is Juno. I have a health science background and I'm the author of the book Tooth and Empathy, How to Find Your Soulmate. And I'll put a link to the book below. This video is the romantic compatibility between INTJs and ESTPs. But before we dive into this topic, I would like to underline something about my book. It is written from a health science point of view, so we'll be looking at the anatomy, physiology, brain dominance, uh, uh, neurotransmitters, and so forth of the 16 MBTI personality types. And based on this information, you can determine your own type. And since I advocate that like attract like, then you can determine who's the best match for you long term when it comes to a romantic partner. So let's go back to the topic at hand. What do INTJs and ESTPs have in common? Obviously, they're both thinkers. So these are people who put emphasis on logic when making a decision. So they'll be able to understand each other on that level. And besides that, the uh, ESTP being a perceiver, it tends to be open-minded, like things are new, different, and the INTJ being an intuitive also tends to like things that are different and new. So in other words, they will understand each other on that level because they won't put sort of like uh, limits in terms of the ideas they want to explore. So that will be a positive aspect. Obviously, this couple will face challenges. The first aspect has to do with the fact that the INTJ is an intuitive versus the ESTP is a sensor. So intuitives are about the abstract future. So these are people who uh, gain information usually mostly by sort of like a download of information. So they don't pay attention to the five senses as much to uh, gather data. By contrast, the ESTP is a quintessential uh, realist. So these are people who are about the here and now. And they tend to be very good when it comes to uh, emergency situations. So let's say if uh, uh, you know there's a fire or or if let's say someone gets hurt. So they have quick uh, reaction time compared to the INTJ who tends to be slow, uh, they like to reflect a lot, so that will be an issue in their relationship. The other aspect has to do with the fact that the ESTP also is very much an extrovert, and the INTJ is very much an introvert. So the INTJ needs to spend time alone or with a few friends and family members to recharge. The ESTP really enjoys interact with others. And, and when it comes to even like the, the, the career choices, the STP will be, you know, often an entrepreneur. So obviously you need to interact with the public. You need to be good with people to be able to get that. Although obviously the ESTP um, is a thinker, but uh, they have in terms of their function stack, extrovert feeling as their third function. So they tend to be, to have good People skills, obviously, and if you want to be a good salesperson, it's important to understand people's psychology. By contrast, the INTJ has introverted feeling as their third function. So they're usually clumsy when it comes to relationships and they, they, they have a hard time putting themselves in other people's shoes. So because of that, they usually don't fare well in terms of relationships. Based on the fact that the INTJ and the ESTP uh, are both thinkers, they might uh, be challenged when it comes to their relationships. So in other words, they might need someone from the outside to, uh, you know, a third party to help them navigate their romantic relationship. The other hurdle they may face is the fact that the INTJ is a judger and the ESTP is a perceiver. Judgers like predictability, reliability, you know, partners, so they like things that are well organized, whereas the uh, perceivers like, uh, you know, to, you know, flexibility in their schedule. They, they're really good at thinking on their feet. So the INTJ may feel that they cannot rely on the ESTP in terms of be able to, you know, be there for them in, in their time of need. And the ESTP may feel that the INTJ lacks flexibility and, and be able to uh, be open-minded in terms of not having something already set in stone. So they may face an issue there. The other aspect is the fact that they have a different relationship style. So the INTJ, it is um, you know, masculine and orderly. So what they're looking for in a partner is someone who's effective, who gets the work done, uh, you know, who's, you know, basically who's very sort of like good at uh, following through, whereas the ESTP, um, 
is uh, in terms of their relationship style, they are the masculine spontaneous, so they're looking for uh, more internal knowledge. So they're looking for accuracy when it comes to a partner. So they may have an issue there, but the fact that they're both thinkers might, you know, uh, so sort of ease the way, but uh, they still may face some issue in terms of what they're ultimately looking for in a relationship. So based on all this information, I would say that this is an incompatible pairing because although, yes, they are both thinkers and intuitives and sense of perceivers tend to be open-minded so they'll be open to different ideas but uh, one is um, you know a judger the other one is a perceiver one is an introvert the INTJ the other one is an, a very much an extrovert being the ESTP uh, one also into the organizing style is uh, reliable reachable as a judger whereas the other one as a perceiver likes flexibility in terms of their schedule and how they, they manage you know their tasks on a daily basis um, also the fact that um, in terms of like it, one being more sort of like uh, reclusive like the INTJ even because even like someone who is an introvert could be you know a feeler so they tend to uh, be more flexible or, or willing to make compromises but when you put two thinkers together one will probably don't want to sort of like give give away or, or be able to accommodate the other so for all these i would say that uh, i would not recommend this type of uh, couple so let me know if you agree or disagree with uh, this uh, romantic compatibility analysis by commenting below if you like this video if you learned something please click on the like button also remember to click on the notification bell to be notified of other videos i'm going to be making subscribe to my channel and we will talk soon.